Hello, this is uh, my first ever unboxing video. Uh, my name's Tony and um, I'm using a huge knife because I notice a lot of people unboxing on YouTube use the biggest knives they can find. Um, this is a Lenovo E550 I purchased from Lenovo's website. Uh, it took an absolute age to get here. Don't know why it took so long, but it has come via Beijing, Shanghai, South Korea, Kazakhstan, Cologne, and then about five places in the UK. So I'm going to start opening it now using this really big kitchen knife. I wouldn't recommend it, but everyone else seems to use huge flick knives or butterfly knives. Okay. This was recommended to me by a member of staff at Lenovo. Uh, I'm not normally that gullible. I've got a free stone. Okay. That's a nice plastic piece of tray there. I have a battery. I've got the power brick and the cable, this is in the UK, so obviously it's got a three pin plug. We've got the unit itself, it actually feels quite nice. And the manuals, and another piece of plastic. So I'm gonna move those aside. And we're gonna have a look at the manuals getting started with Windows 8.1 with the new Superfish spyware probably already installed. I'll find that out in a minute. I'll move those aside. <clears throat> now the battery is a very long, large battery uh, and I think it sticks out, which isn't really a problem because I'm using it as a desktop laptop. I'll open this. Get a huge knife. Here's the laptop. It's got a nice rubberized feel on it. Uh, it's got Lenovo branding here and the ThinkPad branding here. Uh, when I've opened it, it's my version. I've paid a little bit extra, but they had a 10% off deal recently, and I paid a little bit extra. Got an i7 processor in there. It comes with a 7200 RPM, 500 gigabyte hard drive. And uh, I've also paid a little bit extra to upgrade the screen to full 1080p and a fingerprint scanner. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, uh, but I'll give it a go. Uh, I do have an SSD which I'm going to put in this, so one of the first things I'm going to do is take it apart, put an SSD in, and I'll let you know how it is once I start it. Thanks very much. 